perfume hoods are ventilated enclosures designed to trap airborne contaminants and chemical vapors and exhaust them outside the building away from the user and the laboratory environment. When used properly, they can be an effective tool to protect laboratory workers from chemical hazards. Laboratory fume hoods have several important safety functions including capturing, containing, and exhausting hazardous fumes, chemicals, and radioactive materials, protecting users from splashes, fires, minor explosions, and exothermic reactions. Most fume hoods operate at a constant airflow. As a user opens or closes the sash with these types of hoods, the face velocity changes. The proper working height of the sash will be noted on the front of the hood. When using a fume hood, ensure the sash is not raised above this position to allow for proper airflow. Some laboratory equipment may resemble a fume hood, but they do not provide the same level of protection and should not be used for volatile chemicals. These include biosafety cabinets, laminar flow hoods, animal changing stations, and sterile workstations. Laboratory fume hoods are typically three-sided enclosures with an adjustable clear sliding window or sash. Components for a fume hood include Baffles, which are movable partitions used to create slotted openings along the back of the hood body to maintain uniform airflow. An adjustable sash, which changes airflow across the hood to maximize capture of contaminants. The hood body, the visible part of the hood that contains the hazardous gases and vapors. The airfoil, which prevents turbulent airflows that can carry vapors out of the hood. And the work surface where you perform your work. All laboratory fume hoods at UCSF are required to have airflow monitors which indicate whether or not the fume hood is operational before use. There are several types of airflow monitors including digital airflow display, magnahelic differential pressure gauge, and incline manometer. The digital airflow display monitor shows the face velocity of the fume hood. This type of device commonly has an audio and visual alarm. Always verify proper function of the hood before use by checking the fume hood monitor or alarm before beginning your work. Your fume hood should be operating with a face velocity of 100 feet per minute or greater. By regulation, alarms are required to activate once the fume hood falls below 80 FPM. Manually deactivating an alarm is prohibited. If your monitor indicates the fume hood is not functioning at 100 FPM when the sash is placed in the correct position, or if the alarm goes off, Stop all operations in the hood and contact eh &S to have your hood inspected. If your hood has a magnahelic gauge, the pressure reading at the time of the last certification will be noted on the certification sticker. If the current reading varies significantly, your fume hood may not be functioning properly. Contact eh &S at 415-476-1300 to have the hood inspected. Incline manometers on fume hoods are marked with red and green arrows to indicate the proper operation of the hood. If the red fluid is not between the two arrows, your fume hood may not be operating properly. Stop all operations in the fume hood and contact eh &S to have your fume hood evaluated. If you notice a fume hood is not functioning properly, stop using the hood, close all the containers, close the sash, put a do not use sign on the fume hood, and submit a work order to facilities management for repair. Here are some other rules to follow for the safe use of your fume hood. Avoid storing excessive amounts of equipment and chemicals in the fume hoods. All containers in the fume hood must be capped when not in use. Bulky items and equipment can impede airflow and fume hood function. Elevate bulky items two to three inches by placing these items on blocks. Work as far back as reasonable inside of a fume hood. It's best to keep all chemicals and equipment at least six inches from the face of the hood. 